Alright, so it's been a while since I've been able to make a video. I apologize for that. I've been busy. So, here's a review for the Atari Touch Me. This is an interesting system. It's the only portable thing Atari has ever made, as far as I know. This may be wrong. Correct me if I am. But, it is based off of the Atari Touch Me arcade cabinet, which came out before Simon. Then Simon came out. Then this came out. So, I can only assume Atari, seeing the success of Simon, wanted in on that. So, they made this portable. It runs on a 9 volt battery and has all the instructions you'll ever need right here. It has on and off switch and three game modes as well as the buttons to use the game and four things up here which really it could have been simplified to one based on how well mine works personally. So you turn it on and the switch is at game one and game one is basically just normal Simon. So you hit start and let me get this a little bit closer. It goes from 32, 99, 8, and 16. This is where you choose like how long you want the game to last. So you hit, I want it to be 8, then you hit start. And just like any other game, it lights up. You hit it. And you just follow it along. You have three chances, so you really could do it for, you know, maybe the 32. And if you're really good, even the 99. Uh, but I have a bad memory, so I'll just be happy if I can do the 8. And I'll show you what happens when you win. Uh, I've noticed it does have a lot of the time it repeats green. I don't know if this is purely coincidental, but I've had it where like every time I've played it, except for 5 times, it repeats green at least 3 times in a row. It's quite odd. And it tells you like what number you're at at the top and it flashes it as it plays it. So then, oh, whoops. That's what happens when you win. I think. I th yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's what it does. Uh, you can hit uh, last and it'll replay the last game you just did. However, uh, it doesn't save it really. Like you can hit high score and it'll say you got 8. If you turn it off and turn it back on, you hit high score, it says 0. Like let me get this on the camera, there we go. It says 0. And if you hit last, it just repeats blue forever. So I can only assume an internal battery has failed. Like I said, it runs on a 9 volt right here. Um, this one is pretty bad condition, you know, held together by tape and just overall beat up. Seen better days, but it's been loved. Um, so like I said, you got three game modes, then you got game two, which makes absolutely no sense to me, honestly. You read the back and it says exactly this. Repeat as long as you can the sounds you make me play. Three misses and I win. So it's somewhat confusing. So I turn it on, you do the same thing, you hit start, you know, six, you know, it goes from the, whoops, it broke. Sometimes it does that, where it won't let it start right. So you go start. 16 start it played one key you hit a different one it does that all right so you got to restart it because this one even though it says three misses it stops working after one miss so you go same thing if you hit the key nothing happens so you just wait maybe you think i don't know you don't so then you hit the next key okay that's fine then you lose i i don't, I don't know what's going on I mean, is it like you're trying to figure out what combination was pre-configured into it that you don't know? I don't get it. I just, I don't know. I just don't know. So, game three at least makes sense. It's like a party mode. So you have four people over. They each say, okay, this is my color. This is your color. This is your color. You hit the same thing. Start. Pick. Pick. Oh, it broke again. There you go. Hit start, eight, start, and it goes yellow, so yellow hits it. Then yellow has to hit it twice. Now here's where the fun part comes in. So you got green guy right here, so green hits it. Yellow goes like this. Oh shit. Uh I I'm my finger slipped, sorry about that. Let me show you what I was saying though. Where the fun starts is like this. You have blue guy, right? He's right here. He has to do it three times in a row. Four times in a row. That makes it even worse. So you go one, two, three, 
And it's like, okay, yellow, hit yours. You could just fuck with them and say, okay, I'm hitting mine. Then they lose and they're out. Because it's like once they're out, their light never lights up again. So then it's just red and blue. And you just hit them. And you just keep going. Uh, if you keep going long enough, you'll see what happens. Should be the last one. See, so what was the point of selecting skill? It goes up to nine. <laughs> I don't get it. It's just like it uses the same programming, I guess, so they left it like that. But it makes no sense to have the nine when you pick skill level of eight or whatever. Uh, but that's the Atari Touch Me. Oh, also, if you don't hit yours in time, you'll lose. So if it's like, uh, you know, beep, and then you're supposed to hit it next, and you don't hit it, you lose. But it's so abusable. If you have like three in a row, you just go dee dee. <laughs> wait for your friend, fuck him over. And uh, yeah, something else, a uh, little off topic now is uh, Call of Duty kind of fits into what I do as far as I'm concerned. I might do a video for that. Take that however you want. Me saying Call of Duty is a good game, bad game, I don't know. It's up to you. And lastly, just another totally uh, unrelated thing. People accuse me of pirating my games. Instruction manual for Illegal Street Drag right here. And I have the CD as well. How can you accuse me of that when I have this? Come on. Come on, guys. I don't pirate shit, man. I'm legit. Alright, so... uh I'll have a new video soon, I promise. But until then, hopefully you enjoyed this. Maybe I'll do Modern Warfare 3 just because, you know, like I said, it fits in what I do. I don't know yet. Uh, but like I said, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.